Thanks for joining us here on our YouTube channel. You know, you really should be working, and your boss knows it, but we'll let you stick around. That is unless you have a problem with, like, bad language and that kind of thing. We get a little salty, as my father might say. It's me and my best friends sitting around talking about comic books and TV and movies and toys and Star Trek and Star Wars and all that stuff. So uh, join us, geekshowpodcast.com. General Award Kardashian, Kardashian uh, West. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to take yeah. care of this like a real American. And they didn't, they're not showing you the movie. Thanks Against a lot. Rex. We're going to get fucking letters. It's what? <laughs> Just a guy standing in the background going, <laughs> yeah. no. no! Shaking your head. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> GeekShowPodcast.com And welcome back to the basement. Hey! The back. Uh, This is a basement. It is a basement. Uh, Didn't I just see you guys? (laughs) Oh, don't you start talking, Dancing Machine. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's Uh, What's funny is you probably don't remember the interaction we had last night. I've never seen it. Here comes Lee. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Lee? Oh no, I'm not going to tell you. No, I'm you, yes ending. You'll Come you'll on. you'll remember in a few days. <laughs> we got Carrie to go out in the nighttime, people. He yeah, he it saw was, what nighttime was. It was like. some rare sighting. We got. Yeah. And for those who don't know, Carrie's a dancing machine. Yeah, I can't. I'm going to call you DM from now on. Ooh. And you guys got to learn. Dungeon you guys got master. to learn something that it's a myth. That's an old wives' tale that morning show uh, hosts will actually burst into flame if the light of the moon touches them. Yeah. Oh, we, we kept them shrouded. We had like yeah. a sheet and everything. We brought them in. I kept asking them if it was 5 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> that's usually when I see the moon. Is it work time? Yeah. He keeps doing show prep. We're like, no, just because oh. it's dark doesn't mean you have to do prep. Yeah, I got to write three jokes for this. Come on. <laughs> we, uh, we saw a real big fish. Last night. And we a got a fun. lift from Leslie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Donnie. At Leslie and Donnie. Yeah. Leslie and Donnie, who are awesome. We got dropped off to the club in a fucking minivan, y'all. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> it's rolling deep. <laughs> she dropped us off. Have we, a good time. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was like our mom dropped after, us off. <laughs> after we after we sang her happy birthday. Yeah, we, sang, <laughs> we did sing her happy birthday. Yeah. She was out lifting on her birthday? She, well, yeah. it was three days. Three days. Was, yeah, oh, but okay. I I, but Shannon saw her ID and goes... Was it just your birthday? <laughs> so he goes, hey, everybody, before we get out, let's sing Leslie happy birthday. And she's like, oh, you guys. You guys, sweet. here's some high C's and some cookies. <laughs> right? I won't lie. There there were moments in the ride where I could see her face and there was fear. Just yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh, no, I was, like, I was sitting next moments. to her. Yeah, she quick was. Quick well, because yeah, I, well, I, I was screaming stuff like, God damn it, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> that's just about every lift I've been on with Shannon. Because yep. yep. usually he commandeers their uh, their iPhone and then he changes their playlist. Oh, I did hey, not. Hey, Le- Leslie could have gotten mad at us, but we let Leslie use the bathroom before she picked us up. That's right. right. And she took half an hour. She she called, I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> she called us. She, she called me and she says, um, <laughs> she, she was like, by the way, street. me answering the phone is the fuck. Oh, God, that oh. Was so funny. Oh, it's hilarious because it's a number Jay doesn't recognize. So the first thing he does is. Hello? He does the aggressive. <laughs> he does the aggressive take just in case. <laughs> And, and then you turn it when Leslie said, "Hi, this is Leslie." It's a nice older lady oh, on the hi, phone. Leslie. Oh, hi, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Like, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just I get scared when people call me from a you know unknown number because I can, who this? <laughs> fuck you want? <laughs> <laughs> and then he looks at you and goes, "It's from inside the house." <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, once I found out, it was Leslie, uh, she told me that she needed a. She was on our street, but had to use the bathroom yeah. and lived like a block away. Well, she had, I mean, she had kids. Maybe she had some shit to do. Fix a casserole. Well, I don't she know. had shit to do. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we loved her, though. No, she, was, she was cool. She was she awesome. Was, she was actually really cool. She gave me a lot of good recommendations on wine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. I can't remember that shit, but <laughs> all we, I can remember is Drake. We did kind of pre-game at Jimmy's before oh, we. Before oh, and then we pre, and then we pre-pre-game. We, then there was the post-pre-game. No, we had it. We had it. So, so we get we get to the place where yeah. the where the band is happening, and the uh, the second act is on, and it's Suburban Legends, they and were great. they were really singing good. Disney songs. They were doing they were doing uh, Disney songs because they play at Disneyland. Yeah, when they're not being potty mouth ska band. They're playing at Disneyland. And uh, so we get there. And, of course, I take off. I'm going to go recon the drinks. Immediately. And the lines are just crazy. So we decide. I'd say it was probably 40 deep. Yeah, easily. At least. And so we decide, here's what we do. The uh, the sun 
Or is it the no, trap? No, it's the trap. Yeah. It's, it's the like trap. We need to get well, drunk, we, and we need to get, get it, drunk fast. Let's like, go to the gay bar. It's Utah's one of Utah's oldest gay bars. I think it uh-huh. may be the oldest gay bar. In, well, after in, breakfast, closed. Probably, well, wait, is yeah. the Deer Hunter still open? I, I think don't the Deer know. Hunter closed. Anyway, but we we realize it's only a block away, so we'll just go there. And and Jay Such was a good idea. Jay was very popular. Yeah. I'm and sure. Jim, <laughs> Jim, Jimmy was very popular. I'm sure. Shannon, and, uh, Shannon wore the best hat. So you, and, took a, you took a couple. You took a couple otters to the gay bar, and you didn't pay for a single drink. Yeah, good job. No, we didn't. We paid Jay, for our drinks, Jay, but we got served very fast. Yeah. Jay, Jay has an open invitation to return. Yep. <laughs> That's nice. They want. Yeah. They want him back. It was. It was yeah. interesting. But it was cool. Though. Remember, there was three mics. There was Mike D, Mike G, and like Mike B. Mike yep. G made me the best fucking drink. That shit was efficient. Out of a mason jar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he made was it for yours? me, too. Because that was delicious. It was some I lemon. Didn't, I didn't get a taste of yours, had, but it was lemon. Vodka and lemonade. Yeah, oh, it, was, it was basically his version of a Long Island. I, it was, it was, it was it refreshing. It was so good. It was very refreshing. <laughs> I, 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 could so, only, I could only drink half of it. I was like, oh, I got to walk so, again. So initially, we got hammered in 20 minutes. Yeah. We God, did, we, we got did, hammered. We did the timing so that we could figure out when Real Big Fish would start. And we no. figured we got 20 minutes. Drink as much as you can. And, and the mics were good about throwing drinks at us. So it was nice and quick. And we got out, got in there, and I had... I want to thank you guys for coming <laughs> out with me. Christ. I had an amazing time. God Dance damn it. machine. And I I had two throat coat teas before we started because apparently I was singing a lot last oh, night. Yeah. There you were. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I know the words. <laughs> <laughs> it was sing screaming. Sing screaming. And uh, I had a great time, so thank you guys. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Thanks for getting us in. We should do that shit more often. Yeah. And thanks oh. to John Smith. And thanks to yeah. John Smith. Yeah. Big ups. John Smith. For uh, helping Big up. He, uh, Respect. He got us in, and Jimmy also got a couple of us in. <laughs> John got three of us in, and Jimmy got him and his wife in. Well, I didn't give me the, oh, uh, I'm blanking on his name, but he he, he uh, works at FYE yeah. with our friend Eddie. Oh. And he goes, oh, yeah, I know him. Get him in. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know door security could see you. Can't see me? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've, I, never, I've, I've been many places with you where door security, for some reason, trust me. can't even see you. I was just being nice. Yeah, <laughs> I, I yeah, could have walked I, right by. I've, I've seen you walk past, like you know, you know, you're saying, like, "Oh, that's the president's envoys here." Jimmy just walked right past the Secret Service. You ever seen like those movies where they just vanish and there's just a pile of clothes? Yeah, that'd be me. Yeah, be, <laughs> you're a Jedi, <laughs> kinda. <laughs> forget cool. it, forget the parties that I belong to. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's that kind of Jedi. He's a party Jedi. Party Jedi. All right. Uh, well, let's introduce the panel and go <laughs> get this thing going. I'm losing some of my notes. I was, Uh-oh. I had an inspiring speech I was going to read. He, oh, pulled, he folded them in a quarter it. and he put P on it. I'll find it. knows why. I'll find it. Lee George Cade, everyone. Hi. Woo. How are you? Mine is the last voice you'll ever hear. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. Why Don't do be I alarmed. Why do I know that's right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be dope. Like you just... No. Wouldn't like if the, if Lee's voice was the last shit that you heard before you went. I could tell you some really soothing shit. No, nah, man, really I want good. you. No, I, I just, want you to tell me some angry shit. Like, okay. yo, man, it's I gonna just, be fucked up for I, you. <laughs> I just want him to put his index finger on my lips and go. <laughs> and that's speak. when the pillow comes over your face. Don't speak, Carrie. Just like know, Justice I Scalia. Want to, I want a stranger to just go <laughs> die, motherfucker. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Hey, you I, really I, don't. Could, I could do that. <laughs> you really don't. Oh yeah, that's right. Damn it. Uh, where can we find you? And oh, so many places. Uh, so, Fresh Eatery, 145 East, 1300 South, Suite 201. And thanks, everybody, that's been coming in to say hi and, uh, and, and getting your full Whitakers. I'm telling you, if you walk in with a Deadpool shirt and you order a full Whitaker nacho, I know you're a geek show listener. I really do. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I'll high five. Yeah. I really will. Don't be so nervous. Will it be it's crisp? Okay. <laughs> It'll be crisp. But Good. yeah, I had a guy come in earlier this week. And he you look crisp. He, he looked terrified. <laughs> so I was like, hey, Geek Show. He's like, how'd you know? <laughs> well, because <laughs> you just like, go, duh. Because <laughs> I can see you through the computer. <laughs> I'll watch you. I'll watch, I'll watch you masturbating while you're listening. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, so, Jesus. Well, it wasn't that guy. It was the other guy. Was well, you, got, well, you guys don't do that? <laughs> they had that on Hulu? <laughs> yeah. so, that was an nah, episode man, I don't, Black Why would I masturbate when I listen to it? I do it while we're recording it. Yeah. That's right. Sometimes yeah. keep both hands right there. Got his no, he doesn't even need. He doesn't even need hands. He uses his. Uh, <laughs> Your mind. <laughs> he uses Damn, his tail. That's, so, that's a, that's a uh, also, uh, Geek Show Fit on. Oh! Uh, Let him say. Ah! Let him say it. 
Uh, Geek Show Fit on Facebook. Uh, we've got uh, 330 people now. Uh, the mm. the page is. Well, I've been approving a lot of people. Yeah, thank you. I, you... I don't uh, participate. No, I, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just let him into the room. Yeah, yeah you're in. Yeah. 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 Jimmy, Jimmy's, Jimmy's idea of participating in Geek Show Fit is because every day I'm like, okay, I'm going to put up something inspirational. How's your day going? Great. I'm Jimmy. I go to all the movies. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I don't post yeah. that in Geek Show Fit. That's a correct yeah. answer. I, it is. It is. <laughs> My and, job. And he gets a workout doing it. Not really. really does depends on the movie. So, uh, yeah, and that's that's that. So, is that, if is that it, good? yeah, if All you right. want to if you want to get cheered on, if you're trying to make some changes in your life, get a little healthier, um, that's that's what we're doing, mm-hmm. and it's uh, just a positive place to have a bunch of people who got your back. Well, and people are buying the uh, Geek Show Fit uh, shirts as well. Yeah, we'll we'll have another uh, exclusive coming up here in a couple mm-hmm. of weeks, and those are available on the Facebook page. Uh, they were. We did a limited order on oh, the Geek Show were. Fit. Well, they're all gone. Yeah. We're good, James? All right. All gone? He's in charge of that. Oh, we'll put some more up. Put some it's more up? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Just, right. Whatever James says. He's he's excitable James. He is in charge of all of that. Ah! Uh, here he is doing it while we're recording. Shannon Barnson. Yeah. Hands up. <laughs> I, don't, I told you I don't need him. Uh, that, that should be your nickname. Hands up, Barnson. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, He's good with his feet. <laughs> so why do they call you Hands Up Barnson, Shannon? <laughs> oh, because I don't have to use my hands to masturbate. Wow. That's I, quite that's quite amazing. Yeah. I don't know what to do with my hands. Still? Get it? No, that's a, that's a call back. Call back. Oh, yeah, fuck? I got no. it. I was there. I got no, it. I got I, you. I, fuck you, Jimmy. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should every See? Right. Jay. Glad we had him do a decent mic check. <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> a good thing. Fuck, man. Uh, uh, when, uh, Wednesday night's pub quiz? Yeah. Uh eight? Eight, eight fifteen. Eight Lucky 15. thirteen. All right. Good times. <laughs> Great oldies. Get egg on your team. You'll lose by four points. Egg food. Oh. <laughs> uh, Eggs won a bunch. Oh, Egg wins it by himself. Yeah. Whenever I win a pub quiz, I'm just like, thanks, Egg. Because <laughs> I helped with one <laughs> round. <laughs> the movie round. Yeah, yeah. He is good. Here he is, Inglewood, up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> What was that fucking noise? That was, from, <laughs> that, was from, that was from last night. Did you just I fucking just, whinny? Seriously, I, I think just, he whinnied. I think he whinnied. I, just, yeah. I, thought, I thought the ghost of Nelly Olson took over Jay for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was last night. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> Hi, Leslie. That shit was cool, man. Girl asks Jay where he's from in California. He says, Inglewood, and she immediately, up to no good. <laughs> and we danced as <laughs> she and said it. danced. <laughs> it was so fucking weird. It was What's funny. Up? Uh, where can we uh, see you, consume you? Um, consume. Man. Where can we touch you? Just, yes. just find me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. It's not making it easy. Creepy. Uh, <laughs> like, fucking Google me. Sit in my bushes. <laughs> playing hard no, to not get. Go- no, not Google me. Just Craigslist me, man. <laughs> Craigslist? Craig what? Right. What? 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 No, I've, you I've been reading that? about that. Don't oh, like, that. What's that? Special encounters? Casual encounters. Casual encounters. <laughs> no, that'd be dope. What is it? Um, Your Twitter? What's up? I'm Jay Whitaker. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. At Token Jay. Um, What's in that smoothie? JayWhitakerComedy.com. It's supposed to be some hangover remedy, but it ain't working. Ain't, that shit ain't working. Ain't oh. working. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, yeah, just come fuck with me, man. All right. <laughs> Eat full Whitaker nachos. Fuck, fuck with all my peoples and like support our shit, man. All right. Hope y'all having a good Monday. Okay. What's up, dog? What's this? Where'd you get this hangover remedy from? Oh, huh? it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Was it a big thing of like egg yolks? Nah, it's, 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 it's like rocky shit. Yeah, yeah, rocky hangover. Nah, it's, it's mango peach, Remedy. man. Yeah, I knew it. Good. I knew it. I could smell the mangoes. Mango. Oh. Yeah, there's no real mangoes. I could in smell there. the mangoes. Oh, mango. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the shittiest superpower. <laughs> uh, actually, I can smell ingredients in the store. It's really fucking weird. Mango mm. sense. Like, I can smell different types of sugar, different types of chocolate. Paprika. It's weird. Cumin. It, I randomly smell burning tires. It, it, Something's it wrong. It just started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I smell toast. I got my fucking oil change. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> I smell toast. I got my fucking oil change in, like, ever since, like, two weeks ago. And ever since then, like, my shit kind of smells like waffles at times. Your, your actual poop? Your wow. feces? No, no, my like my car. It's I don't like see the correlation oh, between your you tires said, and your shits. No, nah, I mean, like... <laughs> he that. ate his old tires. I was just wondering. I mean, if, you're, if your actual poop smells like waffles, maybe yeah. Mrs. Butter... No, I'm not talking about my shit. It's I'm saying time the, for the hospital. I'm saying my shit. Like my, my, so did they, did they just my put car, some... My car smells like... When I said shit, shit is it's in reference st- to my stop. car. Okay, stop. so is it maybe like... Maybe they slip some Mrs. Butterworths in your I car? I have no idea. I'm like, I want to go... Why'd you choose Mrs. Butterworth? Because she's thick and rich. 
Mm. Yeah. So what are the what are the stroke signs? <laughs> smell and toast. Smell and toast, not waffles. Not waffles. Not waffles. Okay, all right. so I, I want to complain. Okay. Your shit smells like waffles. I don't know. <laughs> waffles is it was just a kind of different type of burning yeast. So. Well, I could have said log cabin. But I Mrs. smell Butterworth a lot of cabin. more identifiable. Mm. No. I would have said mm. Aunt Jemima. I, that's ah, I said. I wasn't going to go there. But, boom, no, boom, 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 boom. No, like, <laughs> Aunt Jemima, I had Aunt Jemima pancakes this morning. This shit was good. With the Kodiak, right. Kodiak pancakes, you ever had that shit? It's just delicious. All right. You can't. It's, okay. full of, it's full of whey. <laughs> good job. Quad T, hey. everyone. The up, d- designated driver and producer of the what podcast. What the fuck is up with that shirt? What? It's a Green Lantern. Oh, Green Lantern. Lantern shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it's my <laughs> comics bro. It, yeah, it's a very <laughs> bitter, it's an affliction <laughs> Green Lantern shirt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know what comics, bro. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, do you even comics, bro? <laughs> comics, bro. I do. You can see on my shirt. <laughs> I'm going to choke you out with my <laughs> with my Green Lantern stuff. Yeah. I got a Twitter at Quad T Tony. He does. If you want to, if you want to catch me there, and if you if you can't get enough of this ginger Sasquatch, I got another podcast what? that I'm doing. What? <laughs> it's called the Gadget Spot. It's about gadgets, tech, and it's, video games. It's called Look for It under the Gadget Spot. But yep. Twitter is calling it G Spot. G Spot. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That's a good thing, right? I'm telling you that if you look for G Spot, you won't find you it. You won't find That's it. That's hard to find. Yeah, you're probably, they're really hard to find. You really gotta look. There are those who say that they don't exist. You really but gotta, you gotta get in there. You gotta search for the Gadget Spot. Gadget Spot. On uh, iTunes or Google Play. All right. Wait. Sometimes I swear to God that G Spot moves around. It does. A little bit. I can't find the shit. And if, <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait. So do you really just say if you want some more of this ginger sasquatch? I did, did. say that. He you did. said you talk. That, is that how you talk when? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. When we're not around. I always yeah. refer to myself as a ginger sasquatch. I feel like whenever I, I can't find anything in my size at a store, I say, "Do you have this in sasquatch size?" Yeah. No, I feel like I use it on like a on an intimate level. No. Like, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you want some of this ginger sasquatch? Can't, can't get enough of this ginger sasquatch. You're about to get mauled by the ginger sasquatch. <laughs> hey, we uh we have a host. Oh, his name's Carrie. Hi, Carrie Dancing Jackson. Thank you. The admirable admiral. Ah, oh, a- affable as well. Yeah, that too. Uh, Affleck. Yeah, quite uh, affable. Monday through Friday, six to ten. Uh, X ninety six. X ninety six dot com. And here, woo! Did and the Twitter and the you're all over the place. Facebook. You should have. Did, you should did, have we, a, did we introduce Jimmy too? Oh, I was Jimmy! Say it's, that, it's that when <laughs> your admiral forgets to introduce you him two feet from Jimmy. You. I started over here. <laughs> well, somebody, well, somebody threw to me. And, oh, that was me. <laughs> I was coming around. I threw to you. I, I'm just so used to you starting at stage. I was just to see if it happened. I was waiting there, just like the party he Jedi. Usually, Jimmy usually starts at podcast right. Yeah, usually I do. Yeah. And that's my fault. But he went podcast diagonal. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's Pod, it's, podcast it's, skewed. He's, Don't he's, touch me. You've upset me. Jimmy <laughs> Martin. He's got dance and vertigo. I do. I'll get it. I'll get it right next time. <laughs> KSL, Big Lee Mouth Off, Slug, Arrow. Sounds so sad. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Geek show. And we're <laughs> oh. Mediocre show. Jim Jim. I'm going to go upstairs. No, Jim Jim. <laughs> Jim Jim. Uh-uh. uh-uh. Come on, Jeff, Jeff. I'm good. Okay. Oh, I'm good. You, I'm I love good. you, bastard. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. I found the inspirational speech. Oh, good. Oh, good. I, as you know, or as you may or may not know, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 started uh, shooting last week. Oh, we yeah. were talking about this last night. And uh, Chris Pratt gave the whole world a pep talk. Oh, I saw this. From the set. This, is on, this was on his Instagram account. He's a nice guy. I got picked up for work at 6.45 a.m. yesterday. I'm not good with math, especially after being up for approximately 61 hours. Jesus. But I think I've been up over 77 hours. I did a table read for Guardians of the Galaxy 2 this morning and then shot all day on Passengers and just now wrapped some 144 hours later. He's doing two movies at the same time in the same city. What a pass. And it's called Passengers? Passengers, yes. That's the space movie uh, where he's in space with... uh, Pretty actress, I don't recall her name. And it's everyone's oh, asleep. Oh, is it when everybody's saying they're having an affair? Yeah, well, everyone's <laughs> asleep on the ship, and he, for some reason, is awake and decides to wake her up for company. <laughs> that sounds interesting. No, it's, it's a, I, I'll, she's, I'll it I know you're talking yeah. about. Is that, her name is Pretty McActress. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's, it? it's uh, Hunger Games. Uh, oh, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence, yeah, thank you. you. Jennifer Lawrence. You're right. How can you forget about J-Law? I know, right? Jeez. Uh, anyway, weirdly, both films, which I'll be shooting back to back, are being shot in Atlanta at Pinewood Studios. I heard that studio is it's insane. That's what I hear. Well, it's massive. They, they fucking built Dagobah at Pinewood. Really? London. Yeah. 
Oh, is this not Pinewood, Pinewood London? London? This is Pinewood uh, Atlanta. Yeah, Pinewood London. Sorry, is, I know is, a lot of the Marvel movies yeah. are shooting down there too. Yeah. Uh, we have we have the best crew, total rock stars, busting their asses, and the stuff we're shooting. My God, I can't wait for you to see it. I go back in about eight hours to do more. I'm doing what I love. It doesn't feel like work, even though it is. I'm having fun. I'm overcome with joy and gratitude. I felt like posting this to say to anyone out there chasing your dream. Fifteen years ago, I felt the same passion I feel today, but I had very little opportunity. I had to hustle hard and go hungry. I had to eat sardines and figure out how to get gas money. And I never had a plan B. I never stopped believing, ever. Don't give up. Apply constant pressure for as long as it takes. It will break before you do. Go get it. Oh, Nice. Yeah. Nice. nice. I feel inspired. God damn, that was feel good. better now? Yes, I do. Right, Thank that's you. Good. It, it I got re- shit, guys. I got to go. I got some shit I got to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, go make like, a movie. We've, we've talked about that going in, in you know. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You know, hitting it hard and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of us at this table do what we love. And as I sit here, uh, Kat and I just had our uh, our tax meeting yesterday. Oh. And, well, which is always fun, paying your taxes. But Ooh. the guy actually looked at me, because we were talking about write-offs and stuff like that. And he's like, um, you're like a special case. Because <laughs> what you do is fun, <laughs> and the IRS doesn't get fun. They like don't that. understand. So it. he's like, so, because I was asking, like, if I go to a movie and I buy food, like, you know, for dinner or something like that, is that a write-off? And he's like... Yeah, like yeah. that's that's a write off. He's like, you're doing your job, right? <laughs> and so he's like, that's what you do. And so like, I mean, he's fucking right. You know, go mm-hmm. get it. When I, when I was a freelance miniature painter, my tax guy would lose his mind because <laughs> he'd be like, so um, I just want you to remember that if you ever travel, you need to go to a miniature store. Yeah, and I'd be like, why? And he said, because it's a write off the whole fucking trip. Yeah. I'm like, oh oh oh. 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 Yeah, I mean, th- th- we had conversations. We had. Kat and I had so many write-offs because, God bless her, you know, we went to Chicago and Austin, yep. Phoenix yeah, to, go to, to go to Comic-Cons. Yep. Mm-hmm. And but that's, that's part of the business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, it's what we do. So no, like, uh, my, I, my, my accountant, Mr. Mr. Barton Moody, mm-hmm. he, he's he's informed me that any vacations I take this year, I need to make sure I hit some health food stores and yeah, yeah. do your research. And yeah. check out the local vegan cuisine. Sure. <laughs> and I and, and we were ab- you know, we we're absolutely humbled by it, but it's just, that's what it is. Go find your happy and go go for it. Exactly. It's a... Uh, I, I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, he's he's got a video called Chase That Happy. And he, he goes into it in, uh, it's Z something. It's, anyway, he kind of looks look like it. me and he kind of talks like mm-hmm. me, but regardless, uh, yeah, Chase That Happy. Find, find yeah, what it is you definitely that, have to. that hits hits that uh, that happy button in your head and, and chase it, wrestle it down to the ground, make it yours. But here's the thing, though, Just with that happy. Me. Just give it to me. When you, when you, when you chase that happy, it's going to get uncomfortable. Oh, it is. Oh, it's going to fucking, you're, you're going to get have, really mm-hmm. uncomfortable. I've, I've told people I've every year, we've been uh, as a restaurant open for almost four years now. And every year we think, okay, we're on top of this thing now. Yeah. We're riding this wave. Everything's good. And then you have that one month that Rachel calls the old shit month. Yeah. I call it the remember me month. Yeah. And that's always that month that comes up to, to kind of smack you around and say, oh, don't get cocky, buddy. Yeah. You know, mm. but then there's those other months where you're just riding high and everything's great and everybody loves you and, you know, you're on top of the world and you're the king of everything. Uh, but I always hear that that Harrison Ford in the back of my head saying, don't get cocky, kid. Yeah. <laughs> don't get cocky. There's a great video actually on uh, online. and You could probably just Google it or something, but it's Steve Harvey uh, on the Family Feud set. Yeah. And it's like, and apparently he didn't know the cameras were on and he's just hanging out talking with the audience and he gives like one of the most great motivational spe- speeches about... Everyone's got their gift, yep. and if you got it, you got to jump. You got to jump off the cliff and give it a shot. And he's like, because if you want, you're just gonna stand there and it ain't gonna happen. And it's a great. I mean, it's like a five minute speech. It's really. I'm like, ever since I started watching Family Feud more and more, I think Steve Harvey's. He's shit. fucking great on that show. <laughs> there's, uh, there's there's a there's a, a a movement going through the the fitness community where they talk about the ten seconds of courage. Hmm. And that 10 seconds of courage is, is everything. It doesn't just pertain to working out. It doesn't pertain to trying wind sprints for the first time or box jumps. It pertains to everything. If you were right on the edge of something and you're thinking to yourself, I can't do this. I can't do this. Well, that's your rational brain. That's the rational brain is there to keep you safe. Yeah. Safe is a good place to be. Mm-hmm. Take that 10 seconds of courage. Jump off that uh, 15 foot platform under the airbag. You know, it's it's there there. That's what that's there for is take that 10 seconds. Screw up your courage and just do it. Yeah. Because if you don't, you'll never know. You'll just have your entire life behind you going, eh, I could have maybe done it. Uh, but you take that 10 seconds and just do it, and then you know. Yeah. Because if you fail, cool, you failed. But at least you did it. You yeah. know, At least yeah. you went out there and put it out there. So, 
I love this or, beat. So, or go or, ahead. Or dance like uh, no one's videotaping you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but I love that speech joke. I mean, he says he's been up for how long? Yeah. 77 hours? But God, he's yeah. making a fucking Marvel movie. Right. Like, yeah. well, obviously, he's having a blast. Yeah. So, you know, you sit here like, oh, man, that sounds awful. And you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> but I'd, I'd say this, I, I'd say this for, for anybody who hates what they're doing. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, seriously. I, I left to open my restaurant. I left a job that was, and I, I don't say this number lightly, I left a job that paid 120000 a year mm. after bonuses. Mm. Uh, my wife doesn't know that number yet. Mm. But <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, she doesn't listen but to that I, I was only, I was I only you're, I you're happier. You I'm far happier, that, uh, and I'm yeah. far healthier. But it's and probably even more stressed. <laughs> and, uh, well, no, it's a different kind of stress. It's my stress. Yeah. This is my stress. Fair enough. I you own control this shit. it. I wake up, and this is my stress. So yeah. even at the end of the day, when it's like, oh, man, the numbers could have mm-hmm. been better, or they could have been worse, or whatever else, that's mine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I own that. So I would add to the conversation, but I swore I would never cry on the show again. Oh, oh so come on. No, not doing it. Let it out. Because I got a letter here I'm going to read later that will make you cry. Oh, oh motherfuck. <laughs> From a listener? That's From what I listener. need. Mother be enthusiast. Dope. Just bring that up because you can either let him cry now. Should I do it now? Or let him. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then we go to break? Yeah. yeah. That sounds about right. So either Shannon. All right. Talks now and what's, cries. What's the over under? Anybody want to get some or, side or, action or on this? We I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen. 50 <laughs> 50. <laughs> we'll get to geek stuff in the next break. Yeah, we motivate well, the we shit about, out of we're you. We're talking about a guy playing in Guarded Galaxy 2. That's pretty goddamn No, that's, true. that's, that's geeky. That's a springboard to motivation. Yeah, that's right. a write off. Yep. Oh. <laughs> See, that, okay, that was a good callback. Okay, find that guy. Hey, you got true. one. Wait a minute. If we yeah. do, if we do our 420th episode in Denver, that is a write-off. That's what I'm, oh I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And not only that, if we get one of the dispensaries to sponsor it, mm-hmm. it's a write-off for them too. I'm hoping. Oh, start making some calls. I got oh. plane tickets. What's up, Doctor Reefus? <laughs> <laughs> Set up some smoke our, signals. Our, our buddy Matt was actually listening to Geek Show. In his car as he's driving through Las Vegas, and he said he came to a stop sign and looked up, and there's the Dr. Reefer billboard. <laughs> <laughs> just... All right, we motivated, and now we're I don't know. Oh, are we reading a letter? Yeah, yeah. You want me to read this? This is now? good, bad yeah, letter. Let's do it. You I'm ready? gonna hug Shannon. You ready, Shannon? I'm fine. No, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be good. You'll be good. <laughs> look at my phone. Uh, this okay. is this is from uh, from Lisa. You'll be okay. <laughs> I really wanted to let you know how thankful I <laughs> how thankful I am for the show. You ready? While I was on maternity leave at the end of last year, I wasn't able to stay caught up with the show, so I've been binge listening my way through my return to work. As I got to the episode before you all saw Star Wars and the spoiler-filled review after you did see it, I was struggling with some deep emotions. You see, my younger brother lived for Star Wars. His room was filled with toys. He owned all the movies on VHS and DVD and all the different editions that they put out. He had stacks of uh, dog-eared novels, and he could answer any question you ever wanted to know about the universe of Star Wars. He was one of my best friends. He died six years ago. Left a giant hole in my heart. I miss him every day. As I've been surrounded with... Damn it, Shannon. As I've been surrounded with so much Star Wars hype, especially right around what would have been his birthday, uh, the anniversary of when he died, my heart was broken even more because I know he would have been losing his mind with excitement. As I listen to you talk about the movie, Dead Milkman is not helping. (laughs) (laughs) Turn that off. Uh, Let's see. As I listened uh, to you talk about the movies and hash uh, hash it over, I started to feel like I was talking with him again. You could hear his voice and all the things you said, and I could imagine him being as excited over all the little details you were. Damn it, Shannon. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't put an over-under on Carrie. That's true. I, yeah. I thought it'd be okay with this. Take it, Jimmy. Can we read it? Yeah. Ah, uh, see. It was like he was still with me. I re- it brought me so much joy and eased my heartache. Thank you from the all from the bottom of my heart for helping me mend a wound that I thought was not able to be mended. I know that I'll always miss him, but now I can look forward to passing his toys and his love of Star Wars down to my own little son. Man, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will Don't always... Pass that shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> pass it to Jay? No, I got it. I know you will always say, says it's just a little silly show, but to me it meant the world. Thank you and keep up the good work. Lisa Flanders, and I don't know if I want to say the last name, just we'll just keep it there. Well, she she gave me permission. To, okay. Uh, Lisa Flanders uh, Gabitas, I believe is how you say it. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. I know. So oh, I hope he enjoys the toys. I, mm-hmm. I know so many people who uh, Star Wars has been that for. I mean, regardless, uh, I know people who have had terrible lives that Star Wars helped them 
live through that, you yeah. know, that, that mm-hmm. even with abuse or, or with neglect or whatever else. And I know people who've managed to plow through uh, loss through that. And mm-hmm. that's, that's so cool that she has that connection, you know, that, I mean, man, her brother, every time a Star Wars movie comes out, her brother's there with her. Yes. That's you true. Know? Yeah. So every time she sits down, when, when Rogue One comes out, she goes to see that with her kid. Her brother's going to be there with her. Her brother's going to be there with her kid. But think about that, though. I mean, you're just saying those two, but like every year. Yeah, I know. For the rest of her life. I know. Mm-hmm. He'll be there. Yeah. yeah. And, and and when you see like that really cool Star Wars action figure, your brother's <laughs> there with you, yeah. rejoicing in that coolness. When you hear your kid running around with an X-Wing fighter, making all those cool X-Wing fighter noises that kids make when they're running around, <laughs> your brother's there with you. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, that's cool. and that's... That's something I think about when I was playing Star Wars toys with my kids. It's like, God, you know, we have this connection from when I was seven or mm-hmm. when the Vice Boys came over with the new Kenner X-Wing fighters. And, oh, yeah. and that, that connection's there. And that's, uh, I'm so happy for her. It, you know? Well, I'm sorry for your loss, but but find the joy in it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to, fuck, God damn it. Ah. <laughs> you're not crying, you're just leaking joy. There you go. <laughs> no, I just... Loss is fucking hard. Yeah. And um, it's a big difference. Like, <laughs> I lost a marriage. It's, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, like, <clears throat> but it is so fucking hard. And to lose somebody you care about because... Especially some of you love, because you're always going to love them, and Mm -hmm. especially when they didn't do anything. You know what I mean? It's like they didn't do anything. My this person is just gone now, Mm -hmm. and I know it's hard, Lisa. Fuck. Um, And it's like I'm starting to be able to find the joy and stuff Mm -hmm. instead of like last night, you guys. Mm -hmm. Instead of being fucking. Super sad that Jeff was not there, because hmm. Jeff loved the f- he loved ska and he would fucking been right next to Carrie. Yep. Yep. dancing like an idiot. Yep. <laughs> and With his inhaler in his left hand. I said to you, <laughs> I said to you, like I kind of I was just like imagining he was there, you know. Yep. But it's fucking hard. Mm-hmm. It's like <sighs> the stupidest fucking shit will remind you. Will just tear that fucking wound back open, and you can you can find. The joy in it, like I said, because this actually week's been kind of weird for me. Because for a, a, a Christmas present, we actually sent Kat's parents on a cruise. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the same cruise that Kat and I were on. Oh yeah, right. That when we lost Jeff. Ah. Oh. So they've been taking pictures and sending them to us, and it's like the same pictures that we have, and it's just it's it's cutting the wound back open, you know. Mm. But you know what? I started telling good stories of Jeff. You know, but that's that's the essence of immortality, mm-hmm. really, yeah. because you don't you don't you know you you don't necessarily live on through uh, through your DNA. You don't necessarily live on through religion. You live on through whatever impact you left in life. And so, if somebody actually left a huge impact with you, if somebody did something uh, just through their day to day life that that moved you and motivated you or left an impression with you, then that person's immortal. It doesn't matter if they're here with you or not anymore. That person has impacted you in a way that allows them to live on past their own mortality. So that might mean that every Spider-Man movie you see, if that person really loved Spider-Man, then you're just going to be reminded of them. So I, you know, as corny as it sounds, that's why the whole Star Wars thing really hits me. That person lives on through the force of their being. The mm-hmm. force of their being is still with you. So yeah, Jeff was with you last night when you guys were watching that badass ska show because that's what he loved and that's something you guys shared. So of course his energy is there. Of course it's there with you. And of course you guys are all rejoicing in that together. And yeah, you might miss his, his absence, but he's still there. Mm-hmm. You know, your memories of that are still there. So that's, I don't know, I... I, maybe I'm lucky because I, I don't necessarily miss people the same way that a lot of people do because, God, I'm so happy that I knew them in the first place, mm-hmm. you know, that those memories are there and that we can rejoice in those things and that you can think about the shitty movies that you watch with somebody or <laughs> well, that's, or those or I mean, those comic books that you stayed up until 2 o'clock in the morning talking about or whatever. I mean, those are, those are, those, that lives on forever. For me, the, I mean, that's the eternal wound for me is because I'll be watching a movie and thinking, like, what he would say next to me. And it's just, it's it's always going to be there. I can't change it, but I try to look at the happy spots. And so, 
that's well, that's know, that's all I can do. That's somebody that like people that haven't experienced it need to understand about people who have. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like look, like especially like if you're getting close with somebody who's had that, you can't. I don't even know. What, you can't fucking blame somebody for missing somebody that they lost or even still loving them because they're always gonna, you know? And it's like, it's not a, it's not a comment on you, right? Because you can still, you can love somebody who's there and love somebody who's gone. You know what I mean? It's That's no mis- okay. And, and, it's just, and it should be fucking okay. It's no mistake that there's that picture of me and Jeff is on the table every day. Of every big movie episode, because he's going to be there every time. Well, I've got you guys have seen. Well, you haven't been in my apartment since I hung him up. I got a whole fucking wall. Yeah. There's a Jeff wall in my house. <laughs> you know, so. Oh, we got emotional again. What the fuck? I thought this <laughs> show was funny. <laughs> All right, how maudlin. Let's we'll take a break. Anyone have a dick joke? We'll make yeah. a dick joke. <laughs> I, I could masturbate without my hands. That's true. I got nothing. <clears throat> <laughs> I can't even get a fart joke out right now. <laughs> if I got a fart in him, this right, was. But, but want to fart no, in Mike? But mm. that was that was a neat letter. Thank this you. This was. Oh, it's an amazing yeah, letter. Great letter. Yeah. This was not the direction the the show was intended to go. <laughs> yeah. I we did, usually do that in the third episode did, when we're drunk. Yeah, I did do prep. Yeah. I I had it going in a different we did direction. The, yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, this is first show sober. Yeah. Oh, what's the what's, thought? The what's what's the I'm drinking a fucking diet Dr Pepper. I need a what's, drink. What's the line? What's the line in the in the Nature Boy song? The greatest thing is to have loved and to know love in return. Something along That's those lines. That's Moulin Rouge. Uh, that's actually from Nature Boy. Shut it's up. a song written in the fifties <laughs> by a crazy. <laughs> song, oh God! Song, I thought song. you were talking about. I thought you were talking about that fucking song that they used in the Listerine commercial. Huh. Tarzan what? Boy. Yeah. <laughs> you thought that was Tarzan Boy? Yeah, no. I was like, I don't. I was like, I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember any profound lyrics in that shit. <laughs> I, I hear I hear Nature Boy, and I just hear woo. woo! <laughs> there was profound lyrics in that song. <laughs> what? Jungle life. Jungle life. Yeah. That's all you got to know, man. <laughs> it's all there. Those two words. And I am Tarzan boy. Jungle life. Yay! Word. All right. We promise man, it'll... We did this show. This is the. This is like a reverse show. Like It we, is. Yeah. Because I'm going to get shit hammered. Yeah. Is this an Earth... Make dick jokes. Is this an Earth 2 show? Earth, Earth 2, two show. show. Oh, Earth oh. 2 show. Earth 2 show. Oh, oh don't even talk about just... that with me because that show is fucking amazing. <laughs> it's <Right? laughs> so fucking good. Oh, we my should, God. We got we to talk about that okay, after Okay, so we got to talk about Flash and, uh, and Legends make, of Tomorrow. They yeah. just need to make Flash Earth 2 like a different show. But, but you yeah. know when we should talk about those shows? Mm. After, after these messages, we'll be right back. 